boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy wow wow <laughs> this story right here apparently is 100 percent real okay as you would think that the lunacy that we're seeing in the classrooms that kids are being exposed to it couldn't get more out of control however it does it just continues to ratchet up and to escalate <laughs> even more it doesn't matter how crazy it gets as this story right here is apparently real and it's about a male teacher in canada who teaches high school shop and essentially they have a massive 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 fake breast and this is a person who is teaching in high school teaching in high school right again for whatever reason the hiring manager looked at this person and said yeah this is totally appropriate for kids to be exposed to in school right they won't be distracted while this person is chopping wood right nothing could go wrong with this okay totally 100 acceptable and appropriate <laughs> well this happened in canada right so at the very least it's canada but we know that when this stuff happens in europe and when it happens in canada eventually it's coming to the united states right um yeah so that being said let's go ahead and talk about this because again it seems like the lunacy will never stop here photos and videos out of a canadian high school are going viral as they show a male teacher wearing what appears to be large prosthetic breasts in full view of young students shocking media first began to circulate on twitter earlier this week with multiple accounts sharing a mobile phone video and skills of and steals of a shop teacher demonstrating how to use a circular saw. <laughs> hey, here's one thing I can't say. At least in Canada, they do have a shop class, right? They're teaching classes that, you know, are actually useful to real life, right? So I give them credit for that. What I don't give them credit for <laughs> is who they hired to teach the class, okay? Because, you know, I thought that we had rules against this type of stuff, okay? Well, you have to have some common decency in public, but when you enlarge your breasts so much that, you know, they are obviously out, okay? And in this case, this person's nipples are literally poking out of their shirt, right? Like, you can see it through the shirt. I mean, it's like, at that point, it's like, okay, is this appropriate, right? Can we have this in school? Because I would tell you, you do have adult entertainers who do get their breasts enlarged to this, to this extent, Right. And they can't do anything outside of adult entertainment because you can't get a normal job with those kind of assets. You know what I'm saying? You can't get a normal job with this stuff. So to me, in my opinion, I got questions about what was going through the mind of the hiring manager when they hired this person to teach kids. The teacher is seen wearing an extremely uh, prominent prosthetic bust, one which clearly outlines the nipples through his tight shirt he is also donning a blonde wig and short shorts okay so my question is i wonder if <laughs> are these fake or are these i mean obviously they're fake but are they something where he stuffed in his shirt or is it something where i don't know he you know got an actual boob job <laughs> right who knows who knows? But this is just, this is disgusting, man. <laughs> I mean, this is disgusting. This is for the high school kids, bro. Coming to America soon. Coming to America soon, I'm telling you. Multiple photos and videos have surfaced on the same individual instructing young students. And in all of them, he is wearing the oversized bust. The media has confirmed as originating from Oakville Trafalgar High School in Oakland, Ontario. The man seen in the photos and videos is a manufacturing technology instructor who allegedly began identifying as a woman last year. The teacher now goes by Kayla Lemmix. <laughs> wow. Wow. Again, if, if these are fake, right, in the sense that this person did not actually get surgery, okay, it's something that they put on every single day, they should be required to take it off, right? They really do. They should be required to not wear that. They say, look, you can't wear this in school, okay? This is totally inappropriate. Quote, the kids here most definitely don't think it's normal, but realistically, we can't say anything. One student said on Twitter, last year, the teacher was a man. I don't think the teacher can fire him. I mean, can they, right? Can they fire the person for this? Lemmix is listed within the faculty director on the OTHS website. 
His official school email is also connected to a Google account, which has a photo visually verifying his identity. So, yeah, I mean, look, here's the thing, man. Again, it's the conundrum that I've been telling you guys about how a hiring manager who is not woke, right, must feel when they hire somebody that is a part of a minority community, right? If you hire them, then you have to worry about being accused of racism, sexism, transphobia if you fire them, right? So basically, once you hire them, you're stuck with them. You can't fire them because they're going to be backlash, right? But if you choose not to hire them, then they're going to say you racist, sexist, you know, homophobic, you're a bigot anyways, right? So basically, there is no winning in this situation if the worker doesn't turn out to be good. In this situation right here, I believe that this teacher is a distraction to these students with, with their job, right? I'm, I'm just saying. I think it's fair to say that. Redux reached out to OTHS administrators for comment, and they did confirm that Lemix is currently employed at the school but refused any further questions. Oakville Trafalgar High School is overseen by the Halton School District Board, which has begun promoting gender identity ideology in schools in recent years. Yeah, so in a nutshell, they're woke, right? They're woke. And this is not the first time I've seen stories like this, okay, where, you know, you have parents that complain about teachers that dress too sexy, okay, or that their outfits are too revealing. And that is kind of what I relate this to, right? I put this in the same category because the problem is not necessarily that the teacher is trans, in my opinion, right? If the teacher is trans, I'm not saying they should better have a job. But, you know, when you have teachers that come to work in outfits that aren't necessarily appropriate outfits, right? Now, again, this is a teacher right here. I wouldn't say that this outfit is inappropriate. Her body is just built in a way, I mean, surgically built, most likely. It's just built in a way where it, it, it shows off, you know, her, um, her assets, you know? So, it's not that this outfit's not professional as much as just... It, you know, her curves are so curvy that it's really, really, really hard for her to cover him up, right? So, again, it, it, in my opinion, it's weird. It's a weird situation because, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if this outfit right here would be appropriate. I mean, obviously, look at how she's wearing these jeans that are way too tight, right? <laughs> but these people with these crazy bodies, man, yo, like... I think that there's issues when you're wearing clothing that is too revealing. Like, if you're going to have a body like this, wear clothing that is loose, right? Wear clothing that is not, you know, revealing, you know, all of your, your curves and your skin, right? I mean, that's basically what, you know, th this person's doing. I mean, look at this person's Instagram, right? This is her Instagram. This is an art teacher, guys. Art teacher. This is who's teaching <laughs> in your classroom. Again, I have just as much of a problem with this as I have with the trans student. Again, that shows that backlash is not coming from hate and bigotry because the person is trans. No, it, it comes from the fact that if you're gonna have a crazy body like this, you need to wear dresses and, and clothing that is not tight fitting, okay? But let's be honest, you really shouldn't have uh, people get these types of crazy modifications to their bodies in the first place, whether they be men or women. Right, I have no problem with uh, getting a boob job or, you know, if you want to get your butt done, do what you want to do, freedom. But when it's to the point where you're getting these, you know, double <laughs> Z implants in your chest, that's a problem, man. I think at that point, an employer should use some common sense and, and stay away and say, you know, maybe this doesn't make sense. Maybe this person will be a distraction in the workplace. Um, obviously they have a narcissism issue because the only people that would get those type of body enhancements like that are narcissists. Maybe they have an attention issue, right? Maybe they're not necessarily qualified to, uh, be in this position. And again, some people have those bodies naturally, not the two bodies that I showed you, but some people, you know, Hey, they might have a bigger chest. They might have a bigger butt. They can't help it. But if you know that, again, you got to understand that you're around children and that you shouldn't be wearing clothing that is too revealing, right? Of those <laughs> enhanced or naturally born assets. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.